I don't want no combo, I want checks. I don't want the second, I want this. I'm all in my ass, way, I'm a wreck. I've been moving like a hot mess. I don't want no combo, I want checks. Okay. <laughs> now people are staring because I got banana. <laughs> Good morning everybody. I'm up super super early this morning. I was uh, listening to um, I had my phone going and the Daryl Brooks trial keeps popping up even though I've not watched a single video of it and it keeps popping up and it drives me mental so I've got to turn it off. It's like my brain knows that that's what I'm listening to and I have to switch it off. And anyway Oh, and the hat, yes, because one of my favorite influences is going through like a bucket hat phase. And because I am a bucket hat stan, I thought I'd like start following the trend because I'm so influenced by this woman. She's beautiful, sensitive, creative, just inspirational across the board. So, hence. The cool bucket hat. Um, but anyway, back to foodie beauty. Now, this is where our hypocrisy sits. Now, foodie went for a walk. Number one, she's mobile. She's getting out and amongst it. On her own, she's pushing through her social anxiety. Fantastic. Sat down and ate some Thai food. Sticky rice. Guys, I think the tide has turned. Foodie is ex ex experiencing Thailand on her own terms. Marvellous. She's she's gone out though, done up like a dog's breakfast at night time. Make up to the heavens. It was thick. It was exaggerated. But it was on. And I understand why she piled it on so hard because her skin is looking like it is going through some stuff. We had some very, it, it was, there was a multitude of sins happening. So I can understand why she's done an extra thick layer because she's probably feeling very self-conscious about that. Normal feelings, normal feelings. But what I really wanted to talk about was our foodie beauty was publicly humiliated. And normally this is where I'd be like, no, that's not okay. You can't ridicule a morbidly obese person in public. That is bullying. That person's feelings would be, they'd be feeling shamed. They would be feeling embarrassed. How can you do that to somebody? Because if that had been somebody, say a friend of, my, a friend of mine or even myself when I was morbidly obese, I would be like, that's unfair. You can't do that to me. I'm not a public spectacle. Treat me with a little bit of respect, with a little bit of kindness. Don't fill my gargantuous size and use it as a way to make fun of me. That's hurtful. That 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 could hurt a person's feeling and self-esteem. And at first I was a little concerned and a little bit worried that maybe, maybe this would upset our foodie. But nay... I was not to be worried because even at the time of the filming, oh God, this is why she's such an inspiration. She was making it very, very clear to all and sundry that she was not affected by people's opinions. She is proud of herself. She's got no concern. She doesn't feel self-conscious. She does not care. If people to film her and take photos of her in public? Well, the thing is, my anxiety is not stemmed from being self conscious. It's not a self image issue, so that's why I don't have anxiety about eating in public. And the thing I don't like about public is just too many people. I don't know the excitement, the noise, but I'm okay right now. It's okay, I actually realize that. Someone took a picture of me? Oh. Well, I'm famous, baby. No. <laughs> I'm famous, darling. Maybe she knows who I am. I hope she's not mad. I hope they're not mad at me. I'm just trying to eat for my channel. I gotta hurry, guys, because I only have limited battery. So don't mean to eat like a pig, okay? <laughs>
She can film me if she wants. I mean, I don't think she had bad intentions. You know what? They probably don't see really fat people. I'm not saying that to be mean to myself. I mean that literally. I'm literally the biggest person in this market and I don't mind. I'm good for their business. They can go ahead and do whatever they want. Doesn't bother her. She is a strong, proud, death fat. Her, her size does not matter. Not doesn't impact her self-esteem at all. Okay? So for those people who were worried that this could be considered public fat shaming, Foodie doesn't feel shame about her size, so it's okay. Relief. So relieved. Now, what do you think is going to happen after this? I feel like perhaps Foodie's going to do what she normally does. Compound it, pack it down, pack it right deep down, deep, deep down to the bottom of the base of the fupa. And then she's going to, eventually it's going to spread out like everything eventually just shoots out of Foodie in a rage stream. And somehow it's going to be everybody else's fault that this lady was taking photos of Chantal. And it's our responsibility to defend and feel anger on Foodie's behalf. And because we don't, because she, she confirmed and, and made it very clear to us that we don't need to be worried about her. That we are, we are horrible people because we are not defending her and taking care of her emotional and mental health around this issue. She's going to come out and she's going to yell at everybody. Because we don't feel bad on her behalf. Reap what you sow. That's what I reckon. That mango sticky rice did look pretty good though. And the other three things she ate. I don't know. I didn't watch all of it. I've watched, I've watched the clip and some of the mango stuff. That was about it. I'm not very interested in her live streams. I am interested in her hat fashions. Though I find that very very i love ha i love bucket hats and stuff and i do find her fat hashings very funny um i hope one day eventually she finds one that fits um that should be her mission in life to find ye bucket hat that fits ye giant dome that would be cool but anyway I i'm just i'm just laughing that she's felt the need to go and edit the live stream that she doesn't feel self-conscious doesn't feel edited about no need to feel ashamed of her size. It was just the copyrighted music that needed to be cut it out. Cut out, cut it out. What am I, a hick or something? What am I, from Cornwall? Um, she just needed to edit the copyrighted music out. No shame there at all. These are just some of my thoughts. Wear your sunscreen, wear your bucket hats, and have a great fucking day. See you later, guys. Starving, now I'm mean to my belly flow. From up north, we get cold, you need a heavy coat. Scared to end up on a shirt before it's in the fold. Devil on my back, target on me, deadly toe. Play for keys, don't tweet. It's not peace, don't speak. 24, no sleep. This is real, no tweet. My bros for life, can't break this link. Family on my side, baby, stay around me. I don't want no combo, I want checks. I don't want the second, I want this. I'm all in my ass where I'm a red I've been moving like a hot mess I don't want no cover, I want checks I don't want the second, I want best I'm all in my ass where I'm a red I've been moving like a hot mess Want that combo, better know you need a check for me Can't pay the play, the sun is still won't get a cent from me I mix the fit up with the salad, like it's a remedy I mix it up inside the pot, watch it drip while it drop, drop Time to take it to the top Chips all in the middle like it fall, no I won't flop We gon' pop, pop, like a soda can top To me this is nothing, call my bluff and I won't stop when I flex I don't want no combo, I want chess. I don't want the second, I want best. By any means, that's a triple threat. That ass is getting bigger, I might. I don't want no combo, I want chess. I don't want the second, I want best. I'm all in my ass, where I'm a red. I've been moving like a hot mess. I don't want no combo, I want chess. I don't want the 
second, I went fast. 